part two of my German culture shocks. I never went to a big city, so I only got to see a small village in Germany. These are the things that actually blew me away. So guns! I actually thought Germany had no guns. I talked to Germans. Germans said guns are illegal. And this is my impression of Germany. Germany has no guns. So I was completely shocked. My very first day in Germany, I was actually hearing gunfire. I'm like, wait, what's going on here? This is Germany. I thought you had no guns. And well, it turns out hunters do have guns in Germany and they're shooting off shotguns. I was actually kind of completely blown away hearing gunfire in Germany. It was like pop, pop pop. I'm like, whoa, you can go a lot of places in America and never hear gunfire. Of course, there's a lot of places you can hear gunfire too. My first impression of Germany is there's a lot of gunfire going on, but I think it just being around the woods and everything, there was just a lot of hunters. So it kind of makes a lot of sense, but still my first experience in Germany, there's a lot of gunfire. <laughs> Animals. So I, I was completely shocked. I was like, what's your most dangerous animal in Germany? And apparently it's your wild boar. And I'm like, that's it? That's your most dangerous animal in Germany? And so I got to see some wild boar and they didn't look too dangerous. <laughs> Germany has very, very nice animals. That's very, very cool. In America, we've got mountain lions, we got bears, we got alligators, we got giant 20 foot long snakes that are huge. I really love this about Germany that all the animals seem very Disney friendly. I don't have to worry about some crazy animal jumping on me in Germany because they're all so friendly. So this is really awesome. The churches in Germany look really, really old. I don't know if they are old or just how they are built, but they look like they're from hundreds and hundreds of years ago. They almost look like a church from one of those vampire movies and you get a little bit scared like are there vampires in that church? In America we have different kinds of churches. They build them out of warehouses and you don't normally see these really really old churches like you do in Germany. So it was really really cool. I felt like I was in a different world seeing these old churches. And it's really funny, I kept thinking that there's vampires in these churches. So I really enjoyed looking at all these different churches in Germany. They looked really, really beautiful. All six airplanes I was on in Germany all had stairs too. When you come to America, I've been on dozens and dozens of planes. I think I've only been on stairs one time. The rest of them, it's completely flat walking, it's great. And why I really noticed this is I just had a knee injury. So flying from Florida, which is really warm and going to a very cold climate, my knee instantly was hurting and then I had a bunch of stairs I had to keep walking down. I'm like, ah, come on, Germany. And my theory on this is I think in America we have something called the American Disabilities Act and we try to make everything wheelchair accessible. And in Germany, I think a lot of the buildings are very old too. So I'm thinking that's why there's so many stairs, but it doesn't explain the airplane thing. I was really shocked that all these stairs were everywhere. Even to get to the library, I felt like I had to go up three stories of stairs. I was really shocked about how many stairs Germany has. But yeah, stairs are probably really good exercise. So even though I had a really bad knee, it was probably really good for me to do all those stairs. So thank you, Germany. So I was really loving how Germans speak too, especially when they actually refer to their towns as villages. So we don't actually call towns villages in America, even though there are places that I've even lived in a place that was called the village of Godfrey. We never actually called it a village. We just said, yeah, this is where we live, it's Godfrey. We never actually referred to it as a village. It was so nice to hear Germans say the word village village. In America, we kind of think of a village as something about maybe 200 years ago. I don't know why that is, but we just don't actually use the word village in normal speaking. So I don't know if it's a UK English thing or how that is, but I really appreciate it when Germans use the word village. It feels like a nice, warm, comforting feeling. I hope in America we can start bringing that back and call different places villages. Everything shuts down on Sunday in Germany. All the businesses shut down on Sunday. I think there was like one or two businesses I saw that were open. We actually went to a garden center and got to see some flowers and everything. And that was open. I don't know if they have to pay a fine or how that works, but Germany has some type of law that everything's closed on Sunday. And when I was a kid in America, it was a lot like that. A lot more businesses were closed on Sunday, but now I'm an adult in America. It seems like everything's open, even on holidays and Christmas and everything. Tons of places are open now. I worked a lot of retail stores in my life and I really hated that I had to work on a holiday or work on Sundays. So I really like this in Germany that they actually close things on Sunday. Somebody also mentioned that you can't cut your grass or something in Germany on Sunday because it makes too much noise. If that's true, that sounds really cool too. So I have no excuse. I can't do yard work on Sundays because I'll make too much noise. So if that's true, that's awesome. 
<laughs> I kind of think in America we could really appreciate this. So hats off to you. I wish we had this in America too. Way to go, Germany. Germans don't seem to be huggers. And yeah, maybe a lot of Americans aren't huggers. We do the handshake thing too. But I'm kind of a hugger. I got some very interesting reactions to Germans when I offered a hug. One guy says, I don't know you, but okay. Another person's like, Mm, they kind of all give me a look, but then they're like, okay, he's an American. We'll give him a hug. This sounds good. So what I noticed about Germans, Germans are not huggers, but they're totally willing to give me a hug. Nobody said no. They just gave me the look and then they gave me a hug. So it was really cool. <laughs> Germans also tend to be very direct when they speak. They just get right to the point and they don't go around in a big circle. And I feel like a lot of times in America, we go to this big circle before we say something. In Germany, they just precisely say yes, no, we'll be there at 1800 hours. Sometimes that comes off a little bit mean. It's just because I'm not used to it though. So if I was used to it, I actually think I'd really, really start getting into this. Like this is not beat around the bush. Let's just go right down the middle and just say exactly how I feel. So yeah, I really like this too. So tipping in Germany doesn't seem like it's such a big deal as it is in America. When I did this in Germany, I definitely got some looks because they're not used to having such big tips given to them. And it was very interesting. One waiter actually gave me two beers on the house after I gave him such a big tip because I don't think he knew how to handle this because he's like, this is way too much money. I got to give you something more to compensate for this. So it's very, very interesting that tipping is not as important in Germany as it is in America. But in America, we also don't pay servers a normal wage. Normally they only get one or two dollars an hour. So they really depend on tips. And if they do a really good job, you give them a bigger, bigger tip. And servers tend to do a really good job treating you like a king or a queen in America because they're really dependent on that tip for their livelihood. But I did notice in Germany that the servers were not running back and forth to the table asking, is everything okay? Can I bring you anything else? Instead, we had to flag them down like, hey, hey. And I think this is just because they actually probably get paid a living wage to start with and they don't really depend on the tips. Then you don't really feel that huge pressure to actually keep running back to the table and making sure they're super, super happy so you get a big tip. So it makes a lot of sense. There is no refills on drinks in Germany. So when you order a water, you have to keep paying for it each time. But I will say that they actually bring really good water. In America, we tend to get water from our sinks. In America, if you order a water or soda or a few other drinks, you tend to get unlimited refills for about two or three dollars. You get all the refills you want to drink. You can drink 20 cups if you want to, and it's still going to be two or three dollars. In Germany, you have to pay two or three dollars, it seems like, for each cup you want. So most people only get one or two drinks, and that's tops because this can really start adding up. But I will say that in America, we just get water from the sink normally and give it to you, which it doesn't taste bad most of the time, depending on what part of the country you're in. But in Germany, they give you this really sparkling, bubbly water, and it's like, this is fancy stuff. I actually like it. Germany, I really love your water and how it's served. So if I'm really, really thirsty and eating spicy food, I really want those unlimited refills. But Germany, I actually really like how you have your water, and I really like that sparkling water they give you at the table. In America, they tend to only do that in nice, fancy restaurants. But it seems like most restaurants I went to in Germany, they had that sparkling water. That was really nice touch. And my final culture shock, I was shocked to see a McDonald's in Germany. I know, I know, I did not eat at this McDonald's, but the fact that I saw a McDonald's in Germany made me feel like I was back in America. And I was like, ah, no, this seems way out of place. What is a McDonald's doing in Germany? I didn't go into the McDonald's because why would I come to Germany to eat at McDonald's when we already have those anyways? But it was just really shocking to see a McDonald's. I know McDonald's is now worldwide. It just seems really, really shocking. I instantly thought I was back in America for a second when I saw those golden arches. I was like, oh no, there's McDonald's here. Am I in Germany or am I in America? I just always kind of picture Germany to be one way and then to see a McDonald's was yeah, shocking. If you found this video fun, definitely hit that like and subscribe button so I know to make more. So German store, I think it's like a boil or something, but don't we refrigerate this in America? I don't know, that's very cool. Nutella, wait, how do they say Nutella in German? No, they still call it Nutella. <laughs> what kind of ice cream is that? It looks like fish. Ben and berries. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> We have that in America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at more sausage in a 
This is like little hot dogs. Oh my god, look at the little hot dog here. <laughs> We have pizza over here. <laughs> oh, pretzel. Cheese sounds actually pretty good. And look at it. We got Christmas toilet paper. Alright, I love everybody. Bye!